Hey guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a haul and it is a pretty large one. Um, I know I haven't done a haul video on my channel in ages, so I wanted to do a big accumulation of just all the bits that I've been picking up over the past few months. It's very, very spring summer geared. It's definitely transitional. Um, it's all about kind of working into the new season, playing with some new trends, while also staying warm and cozy because it is still very cold here, let's face it. I do find in Ireland that the winter like clings on until May and then that's when we first see like our kind of first burst of warm weather so even though it's nice to inject all the spring trends and you can lighten up colors and all that stuff you know it's still cold so we still have to layer we still have to be clever about it so this is very much um, a haul that reflects that so I'm going to kick things off with um, Mango which is one of my favorite high street shops at the moment I absolutely love them I picked up a few pieces on their sale and also some pieces from their new in collection the first thing I'm going to show you is this absolutely gorgeous checked blazer I love that it's kind of that masculine tailoring it's got the shoulder pads the print is really really nice this one and it's kind of structure feels very very summery I love the double breastedness the only thing about this is I picked it up in a size small and I kind of think that maybe I should have gotten it in a medium. I quite like my blazers to be a little bit oversized. I'm not sure if I'm going to exchange it for the smaller size yet. Let me know in the comments what you think about the fit if you think that it needs to be a little bit bigger. Next up on my spring summer haul is such a great blazer. This was actually on sale and um, I spotted this on one of my fellow blogging babes, Tarmar. She's here on YouTube actually. You should totally give her a follow. She wore this to fashion week. It is this gorgeous mango double breasted blazer. Again, it's in that kind of heritage style check that we're seeing a lot of for spring summer. It's kind of murkier and kind of browner but I do absolutely love it. This was originally 100 euros but it was reduced to 50 and they did have a good run of sizes when I saw it so definitely go and check and see if they still have your size. It's just a beautiful blazer. It's made really really well. I think it just looks really smart. You could wear this to work. You could dress it down. I'm going to be wearing this with denim, with jeans, skirts, dresses in the summer. I just can't wait and uh, I think it'll be the perfect like jacket alternative for spring summer as we start to get a little bit more warmth. But yeah I love this so so, so much. Next up I picked two shirts from the Mango Sale and I really really recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. The sale is this polka dot one and I really find it very hard to resist a good polka dot shirt. I have quite a few of them but I keep justifying more. I love the ruffle detail here that comes down in a V and it's got this cute little tie detail here at the front. Blouses and shirts if you find a good one that has a nice print and a nice fit it's hard to pass it by because you can wear it to work, you can dress it up, they can look smart, they can look casual. I just think they have this cool kind of chic vibe about them that I just can never turn down. So I really, really love this one. I think it's really, really nice. So that's everything from Mango. And next I'm going to move on to New Look. And I picked up one of their new in items for spring, summer, and it was the most beautiful trench coat. And again, trenches are something that is just so popular for spring, summer. It really seems to be an emerging trend. But while it's still trendy, it's also a really classic item. So investing in a nice trench coat is a very good idea because you will be able to wear it season after season. So this one that they had, it was about 69 euros. And I looked at a lot of different trenches on ASOS. There were actually some really nice ones on ASOS. I'll link those below. But this one from New Look really, really caught my eye. I love the color of it. It's like a muted tan. It's not too strong. It's really light colored. It would be perfect with all your summer dresses or jeans and t-shirts. And again, like I said before, the weather is not spring summery at the moment so even though we want to start wearing our spring summer trends we really have to abide by the weather and a jacket is a must and a trench coat is a great jacket for this time of the year it'll keep you dry and warm but it's not too heavy so this one I was really really impressed with and it is new season it should be still available I will link it below but just in case I will link some of the other ones I really liked on ASOS as well I personally love the longer length when it comes to trenches but I know some people might like a hip length or maybe cut to the mid thigh um, I personally love the oversized so I actually got this in a size 10 because I wanted to be able to wear it over jumpers and just over some layers or maybe even some blazers as well. So this is perfect and it's probably one of my favorite buys from the haul. I love it. So when I went on New Look to pick up the trench coat, I also noticed that they were having a little bit of a sale. Well, actually a really good sale. So I picked up a few jumpers and they were so, so, so affordable. Some of these were reduced from 34 euro down to 7 euro. And again, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's still really, really cold. So even though this is a spring summer video, I'm still buying warm pieces because I will still be wearing them for a few months. This one, very cozy. Quite similar in color actually to the one that I'm wearing now. And this has a beautiful turtleneck. It's big, it's cozy, it's chunky, and it has quite chunky sleeves as well. This one I think was reduced from 35 euros down to 
like maybe eight or nine euro. So if you are still in need of a few kind of cozy bits for the next few months, um, the new look sale is great at the moment. So definitely check it out. Uh, the other ones that I picked up, I also picked up this jumper. This is the same style as the jumper that I just showed you, but it's in a different colorway. So it has this really nice navy, burgundy and pink block colors. It's the same chunky neck and also the um, kind of open sleeves as well. And so cozy, so comfortable. So keeping in with jumpers and cozy things, I'm going to show you some of the pieces I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. The first one is this jumper, which I'm wearing here. It has the cutest balloon sleeves. I actually love it. I think it's such a fun little detail and it doesn't have a high neck, which is quite nice because sometimes, especially if I'm wearing a hat and my hair is down, having a big kind of turtleneck is just too much. So I quite like that this is a lot lighter. And I think these jumpers, are great for spring summer because while these ones from New Look are a much heavier knit, this is a very soft kind of fine and they're handy if you want to layer them. So if I wanted to throw this on underneath the trench coat possibly or do like a layered look, this would ensure that I wouldn't be absolutely dying of the heat. So I quite like that sometimes having jumpers that are really light and a bit more airy. The next jumper I picked up from Pretty Little Thing is this gorgeous mustard yellow one. And this is again, very, very similar cut to the one that I'm wearing. This has a higher neck and this has more of a scooped neck, but it is the same detail and it's a little bit more cropped. Again, this is very much a spring appropriate jumper in that it's a lot lighter, it's a lot more breathable. I actually love the color of this so much. I really don't have enough yellow or mustard colored things in my wardrobe and they're great for like lifting the mood. They really look very, very spring summery. I think this would look gorgeous with um, some nice denim, maybe like a light wash denim or maybe white or teamed with like a nice skirt. I think it would be really, really cute. And uh, it just adds a nice little lift of color, which we're all looking for at this time of the year. We're waiting for the winter weather to go away so we can really break out the summer clothes and in the meantime wear a brightly colored jumper so you can still be warm and feel like you're you know more spring appropriate I don't know that's just one of my theories now another thing I picked up from pretty little thing which I'm very excited about is this amazing skirt look at this I mean it is the brightest loudest red you can imagine I've been looking for a really nice red biker kind of buckled asymmetrical zipped skirt and I really really want to wear this with like a band t-shirt either a white one or a black one tucked into it and then a cute pair of ankle boots and then maybe a big chunky cardigan on top or a biker jacket so I have a bunch of gorgeous t-shirts here that I'm going to show you from Shein and they're all so affordable I mean you're talking like seven eight nine euros for really really cute t-shirts so I'm going to go ahead and run through them and show you what I got the first one is this adorable little cropped rib t-shirt and it says baby doll on it in red stitching it has like the kind of ruffled stitch um, in red at the bottom here and also at the sleeves and it is very cropped and quite snug now this would be perfect with a pair of high-waisted Levi's in like a vintage kind of blue denim wash it is quite cropped so it would be perfect with something quite high-waisted but I think it's really cute and very sweet and perfect for the coming warmer months I think this could look really 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 nice like I was saying I wanted to include more yellow into my wardrobe um, in spring summer and I love this t-shirt this is again one of their simple kind of masculine oversized cuts and it has this gas thing on the back that says be buddies not bullies which is very very funny and it also has this little emblem here on the front um, I absolutely love t-shirts because they are one of the easiest things to throw on all you need is a cute pair of jeans a t-shirt some sort of biker jacket and a pair of boots and you're just ready to go it's so easy to put an outfit together they're always really comfortable they're always going to look cute and if you have like a nice kind of collection in your wardrobe of ones that you like then you're always just ready to go which is great so, there's another printed t-shirt that i really really love now i think this might be some sort of copy of i don't know is it free people i'm not sure but i've seen this print somewhere before i know it was a lot more expensive and she and have brought out their own kind of version of it and it's really really similar it's that kind of pop art Liechtenstein comic book vibe and again it's in this very loose fit I'm not sure, oh yeah, this is a size medium and I sometimes with Shein their sizing can be a bit tricky. I would recommend going up a size if there is an availability to and then if it's one size, if it's a t-shirt, you're probably okay. Um, so I went for this in a medium because I do want that oversized fit but I love this graphic. I think it's gorgeous. And again, I think this was maybe nine euros, maybe less. Next up, I have another simple t-shirt and it has this gorgeous little rose emblem on it. It's just so pretty. And I really like the fabric of this. It's this kind of light, 
jersey fabric. It's not like your regular t-shirt fabric. It's impossible for me to show you guys on camera, but it's just a nice fabric. And again, this was super affordable and I love the pale pink wash mixed with the red. I think it's really, really nice. The next t-shirt I picked up, and yes, there are more, is this really, really cool yellow one that says Bliss and Mischief, home of the world's largest cactus. And again, it's just one of those really silly t-shirts that she and do. Um, it kind of looks like one of those t-shirts that you pick up in like a charity shop from some family vacation but that's why I really like it. I like that it has oversized sleeves which I will probably roll up and it's just perfect for summer and I really can't wait to start incorporating more of this color. I think this will look really really nice with jeans, biker jacket, same as I said before, like really simple outfits. Next up in my gratuitous t-shirt haul is this really cute Saturn one and it just has this little Saturn emblem on the front. I quite like that it looks like it's been through the wash. It's got kind of a vintage feel to it but it's just that little Saturn embroidery with the little planets. I totally fell for it and again this was really affordable. I think it was about eight euro and it does come in in some other colors as well but I thought the red was nice because I don't really have many t-shirts of this color and I picked up this very simple striped t-shirt and again there's really not too much to say about this it is just that really classic pinstripe with these little navy trimming here and it's just really cute and again it's slightly cropped but it's just something that would look really really nice with a simple pair of jeans a pair of cons it's very kind of like americana style and i just thought it was gorgeous and perfect for spring summer now another long sleeve shirt that i got that i'm really excited about is this gorgeous stripey one i've seen so many of these styles of t-shirts kind of on instagram and on different bloggers and they're just so cute and they look really cozy i love that this has really long sleeves it's slightly cropped it doesn't have a turtleneck it's kind of a round scoop neck but i love the ribbed detail I just think this could look gorgeous with the right outfit. I think with the wrong outfit, it would look terrible, but with the right one, I think it would be really, really cute. And I've seen these on different websites for so much more expensive, the likes of ASOS and other stories. They're charging a lot more. So I think this is a really affordable way of nabbing it. So that is everything for clothing that I wanted to show you in this haul, but I actually have quite a few accessories that I wanna show you guys as well. I'm gonna start off with accessories and show you guys this belt I picked up from Shein. And when I saw this on the website, I, was so excited because it is so similar to the Saint Laurent snake belt, which retails for about 350 euros. I was very tempted to buy it about two years ago and I didn't. And it is basically a snake detail belt. Look how cool it looks. And like, obviously it's faux leather. It's not real leather, but it's quite sturdy. I mean, obviously the original Saint Laurent one is going to last you for so much longer. And if you are like a belt person and you want to invest in it, then it is a good investment but I just thought it was a really cute belt style. You can see the serpents like eating his own tail. It's like a little bit Game of Thrones. I really like it. The second belt I picked up was from ASOS and I had been looking for so long to try and find the perfect gold kind of chunky belt that would just go with everything because I was wearing my tan Gucci gold kind of GG one way too much and I needed to just have something to be able to mix it up. So I found this one on ASOS and it was only 13 euro and it is so, so nice. It goes with everything. And again, a lot of my kind of accessories are gold. So while I have that um, silver one from Shein, this one is perfect. I love this over like a simple summer dress, over a jacket, obviously with any trousers or skirts. It's really, really simple. And if you are on on the lookout for just a nice good quality belt it is very good. Oh, I also picked up a few new pairs of sunglasses I may have gone a little bit mad but some of these I picked up on Shein and they were very affordable. This is the first pair they're kind of 70s they seem to have like that nice hexagon shape and I like this tint as well it's really really nice um, again the sunglasses on Shein are super affordable. Are they UV protected? I highly doubt it but they're cute and they're affordable and they're trendy. So if you're looking for some of the kind of wackier styles, um, you know, it's best maybe not to spend a crazy amount of money on them, especially if you're going for something like this pair that I'm about to show you, which I really don't know if I can pull off. They were about $5 and I really wanted to try them. I think they're gonna look awful with this outfit. Okay. Oh my God, no, they look so silly. I think with the right, like a beret and like a cute outfit, I think this would totally work, but I don't know guys, you tell me. If you're in the market for these kind of matrix style sunglasses, I think that's what they're calling them. So that is it for sunglasses and I'm going to show you guys some hats that I picked up. I actually have them here. Um, the first one is from ASOS and I'm wearing it. It is this gorgeous little khaki Baker Boy cap. I am just obsessed with Baker Boy caps for the foreseeable future. I know they've been done to death and they're on everybody's Instagram pictures, but I just love them. I feel like they just add a little something to every outfit. They're great for concealing bad hair days. And this one I absolutely love. I think it was about 20 
20 euro. I also got this one from Shop Up. This is by Brixton and it's really, really nice on. Again, it has that nice high crown and that rope and button detail that I really, really like. This one was a little bit more expensive. Brixton is a proper like hat brand. They do amazing fedoras and amazing caps. I think this was about 50 euro, but I honestly couldn't find this type of hat anywhere. And I've already worn it loads and I will continue to wear it loads. So if you're looking for something similar, I will link it below. And another Baker Boy cap that I got is from Shein. Again, Shein's hats are so affordable. So if you're looking to try out a new trend or berets or caps they have so many of them there this one is a really nice check it's very early Britney I know I'm wearing it over another Baker Boy cap but it just gives you an idea it's a bit more slouchy this looks totally ridiculous do you know what I'll do I'll pop in some pictures of me wearing it on Instagram I'll pop in a picture of me wearing this me wearing the red one and me wearing this one so you can see what they look like next up in my hat roundup we have berets and yes they are another absolutely done trend all over social media they're everywhere but again there's such an easy way to add a little something to your look and it's also cold. So why wouldn't you wear a beret? It makes so much sense. This one was from Pretty Little Thing. This gray and brown ones I picked up on ASOS. ASOS actually have loads of colors as well and they're again around 10 euro. They're such a big trend at the moment, but I do really, really like them and the weather is still crap enough for us to be wearing hats outside. So I'm totally happy about that. It conceals all my bad hair days. It's great. So that is everything for sunglasses and hats. And now I'm gonna show you a few bags that I picked up recently. And I know that this seems like the biggest haul ever, but I really haven't done a haul video in quite a few months. So this is definitely a collection of lots of things. So the first one I bought is this gorgeous nautical inspired one. And it was, I think, I think it was on sale for about 13 euro, which is really, really good. It has a strap that you can detach and use with it. But to be honest, I quite like it as a grab bag. It really, really reminds me of those kind of beach bag, basket bag styles that we're seeing everywhere for quite expensive. And they look so, so lovely, but some of them are in or around the 50 euro mark. So I wanted something a bit more affordable. I know this comes in other colorways as well, but I just think this would be perfect for the summertime. I think it would look gorgeous with my trench coat. It's great for just popping in your essentials. And I just like that whole beach bag vibe, but wearing it like in streetwear. I think it's just really, really cool. Um, in terms of security, it has like a little drawstring pouch here. So it's not totally open. You can kind of tie that pouch in, but it is just your real simple summer bag. And I can't wait to style this into a look. It's so cute. Next up from Yes Style, I have another summery bag and it is this gorgeous and very Chanel inspired um, tweed effect bag. Now, what I quite like about this is the kind of boucle tweed detail is very distressed. So it's kind of like a deconstructed version of it. And it also has the long and short strap, depending on how you want to wear it. And it also is quite sizable inside. It's got a lot of room. Again, I think this is a really nice style for the coming months. It's just kind of that lift of color. It's a bit lighter. It's monochromatic. It's going to go with a lot of different things. And it's just nice to inject a little bit of like zhuzh into your spring summer wardrobe so i think i'll be wearing this a lot in the coming months they did have it in other colors they had a beautiful red color it had like the same kind of deconstructed kind of boucle material and then they also had a black color as well so i will link those below this one was my favorite though i thought it was gorgeous the final bag from yes style that i picked up is so cool and this actually inspired my buying three of them i wanted to buy this one and then i was like well i'm here i might get one or two other ones which is a terrible way to shop but anyway the one that inspired it all is this amazing belt bag. Now it's probably gonna look a little bit crazy here on camera, but let me explain. What I love about this belt bag is the belt is wide enough to wear around your hips like an actual belt and then have the pocket hang down, or you can cinch it even at the narrowest part of your waist over like a jacket or a blazer or a dress. But I love this belt bag. It's coming up really shiny on the camera. I'll see if I can show you. It just hangs down really nicely. Um, these clips are also detachable. So when I saw this, I thought it was really interesting because I can detach this and then clip these clips onto any other bags that I have that could be made into belt bags. So that opens up a world of possibility to me that I had not thought about before. So they, it came in other colors. I think they had it in a red and a brown, but I did think the black would probably be the easiest to style. And I do think I can make some really, really cute outfits with this. I absolutely love it. So another place that I love buying bags from is Shein. They're again, super affordable and they always have something new and different to look at. So another one of the bags that I picked up from Shein is again, a very trendy item. And I, it's gonna be total marmite for you guys. It is this furry grab bag and this is a trend that I've been seeing so so much of online it's just very different and it's just I don't even know what know what to make of it but I really wanted to try it it actually looks like a top 
I really wanted to try it. It's basically like a shopping bag style. It's completely open. It has no zips, no pockets. And you can either wear it like this or some people pop this in and wear it like this or some people kind of just grab it and wear it like that. It's definitely not one for everyone and it's certainly a bag that I would not want to invest quite a lot in because it's so trendy actually so soft it would be an amazing pillow and I actually did feature this in a lookbook back um, a few weeks ago on my channel if you want to see how I wore it but I didn't get to include it in a haul so I wanted to show it here in case you guys are interested in it as well another bag I picked up from Shein is this gorgeous brown belt bag again this is the same as the bag that I showed you before it's wide enough to wear around your hips which I really like but you can also tighten it and wear it around the waist and it's just a simple kind of leather effect pocket bag it doesn't have, oh no, it does have one interior pocket here for some cards. It wouldn't fit an iPhone Plus. It would probably fit a regular iPhone, but it wouldn't fit my giant phone. Uh, but it's just really nice. And again, I love, love, love belt bags and bun bags or waist bags, whatever you want to call them. I absolutely love them for spring, summer. I think they're such a fresh and new way to wear bags. I know obviously bun bags were huge in the 80s, but they were different. They were like those little kind of fanny pack things. Whereas this is a much more fashionable and kind of fun take on it. I actually would love to do a lookbook video on styling belt bags so let me know in the description if you guys want to see a video dedicated to that I think I have enough versions of them now to do a proper kind of five outfit video on it so let me know if that's something that you'd like to see so that's it for bags and I just have a few pairs of shoes that I wanted to show you before I am finally finished this gigantic haul and the first pair are from Public Desire and they are these absolutely gorgeous emerald green velvet booties look at these they're stunning now firstly they are comfortable i don't know would they be all day traipsing around town comfortable but they are definitely comfortable to wear for a few hours they've got a nice chunky heel and um, they're just comfortable they've got kind of that almond um, toe it's not too pointy not too round i really like how high the ankle is here and they've got this nice little gold zip detail on the inside but they're just really different. Now I know that they have them in a bunch of different velvet shades. You can go for red, you can go for I think blues and blacks as well. But I thought the green was something very different. I do not have any pairs of shoes like these. You guys seem to really like them over on my Instagram. I posted a picture of them and I just think they're really different and I'll be wearing them well into spring summer. Now another pair of boots I wanted to show you guys are these gorgeous patent red pair again from Public Desire. These are so trendy. I mean red patent boots are just have been everywhere for autumn winter and they really are going nowhere for the next few months. I love that they have like a very sharp point again they've got that chunky heel they've got a nice high kind of cut on the ankle I actually have these boots in the silver color and I can attest to them being comfortable they're definitely great for wearing around town or on a night out and they actually have these in so many colors I think they have them in gold silver black um, red they just have loads of different shades and they're affordable as well and they're just a nice ankle boot and I will be wearing these heaps over the next few months. Guys that is it that is the end of my gigantic spring summer transitional haul. I would actually really love to know if you guys prefer doing one big haul once per month with everything that I've picked up or if you want me to do smaller dedicated hauls per brand or per category. So do let me know in the comments which format you guys prefer because obviously I'm going to fill in them the way that you guys like best. And as always I've left links to absolutely everything featured in the haul right down in the description below and if anything is sold out I will link a similar kind of alternative item and of course if you want to stay up to date on all my outfits in the meantime definitely go and follow me over on Instagram you can see how I'm styling everything day to day I share lots of content there every single day so definitely come and join me over there if you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up as that would help me out a lot and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel I will leave a link up here I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next one bye